Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Just ever had a good weekend of hard work? Prepare yourselves to gain a newfound appreciation for the unsung heroes who take on the toughest jobs the world have to offer. From extreme physical... So that was this weekend, man. I'm telling you, I'm probably looking ragged right now, but that's okay. You know, we had some tr we had a big tree fall um, Wednesday. The storms came through, knocked down a big tree. Part of it came over into my yard. Luckily, it didn't destroy much of my fence. It got like one plank of my fence, which wasn't bad. So, been cutting that down. My son's been dragging it. Been doing a lot of work in the yard all weekend, but it was also a good weekend too. Because the Knob Creek, my my pick came in. As you can tell, <laughs> this bottle's almost gone already. So I didn't drink all that. Um, I have drinking some of it. Um, I'm I'm going to do a review of it today too. And I've got to try to remember not to be biased because I'm the one that picked this. So I've I've got to be fair on it and stuff too. But you know, I've I've given out a lot of samples. A lot of you especially Patreons, uh, you should be seeing emails that are coming up saying, hey, your labels and stuff and all that good stuff. So, you know, just be prepared, Patreons. You should be seeing something for that. Excited about that. Uh, had, a, had a great time. Only got to hang out for a little bit on Baker Drinks for Saturday night because I was just exhausted. Um, but RJ had a, had a birthday and I wasn't able to stay up late enough for that stream, but stopped in and uh, said, hey, on Baker Drinks and then I know that uh, put everyone was putting in stuff for RJ for his birthday, for him to win some pours. So I guarantee he's won some pours on that. Excited about that. Excited for this Friday. Um, I'm going to be out of town with a couple of guy friends. We're, we always do like a guy's weekend, uh, but going to hit uh, ASW. But before that, I'm going to be hitting a short barrel with Matt from Whiskey Wisdom. And so we'll be hitting short barrel on Friday. And then he's got his live on Friday night. And he's going to have Dave Vogel saying a lot of good things coming up this week. Very, very exciting time. But also this one will be dropping locally. Um, the Patreons may end up having it in their hands before it drops locally, which is going to be super cool too. So I'm excited about that. Um, but, but let's get into this. This is the Knob Creek that I picked and it's going to be dropping at Maple Party Shop in Columbus, Georgia. I got a cool tater sticker and all that good stuff that goes with it on the front. It says selected by Echoes and Eternity Bourbon. It's a nearly 10 year Knob Creek coming in at 120 proof. They always proof it down. Um, but you know, that nothing wrong with that. Uh, we, there was uh, some, one other person on here that actually did get to test it. At its true barrel strength, it was like 130 plus proof uh, before they brought it down to the 120. And that was Russ L. If you see Russ L in the comments, his real name is Russell, but Russ L. Uh, if you see him in the comments, uh, he actually won something where he actually got to try all the Knob Creek uh, options that I had available. Um, he actually picked the same barrel that I did. Um, and then his wife liked the different one. Um, so I'm excited to see what his final thoughts are now that it's that it's come out so i'm looking forward to that uh let's get into this and let's see what we got so i'm getting a lot of caramels right off the bat i'm getting some nice oak i'm getting some leather on this as well which is really really nice It's got a beautiful golden color to it with some uh, reddish hues to it, which is very pretty. Got my little Weller glass in here today, if you guys can see that. You get a little bit of the ethanol, but not a whole lot of the ethanol. It's a 120 proofer. Get a little bit of a nuttiness going on now this is a bean product so bean products tend to have a little bit of a nuttiness but i tend to like bean products but that's that's me nice and oily on here you get some nice long legs starting to run they're starting to form on the top there so expecting good mouthfeel on this let's get into this see what we got
So this one is super sweet. I absolutely, and, and I'm a sweet bourbon kind of person. So when you get some sweet bourbons, sorry, a little gnat rolling around in here. It, it kind of hit my wheelhouse right there. So it started off super sweet, almost like a syrupy type of sweet. <clears throat> and then you get a little bit of a spice going on, get a little bit of the proof, get a nice little Kentucky hug going on. So on the back end now, you are getting some of that char. You're getting some of the oak. <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit of like a baking spice cinnamon thing going on on the back as well. But still super, super sweet for me, which I'm really, really digging. The finish on it, I'm kind of getting like a medium to medium plus finish on it. You know, it's not super, super long, but I'm getting a medium plus finish off of it. It's actually ramping up a little bit again on the back. I get a little bit of dryness from the oak. And for those that know, I do like the oak on there. I like oaky stuff, but it's not overly oak. It's not something that you're just going to pucker your mouth and be super bitter with or anything like that. This is so sweet. It's almost like a little bit of a mapley syrup type of sweet. And I do like... How you're getting a little bit of that rye and a little bit of the uh, the malted bar uh, the barley that's on there too, but man, the one thing I can say about this is this is this has to be the sweetest Knob Creek I've ever had, which which fits my profile a lot. Now, everyone's a little bit different on the way that they enjoy things, but for me, I like sweeter stuff in my bourbon. I like my bourbon to to have that nice sweet up front, and then it finishes kind of more. A little more of your dryness going on, your leather going on, a little bit of that cinnamon and bacon spice going on. Getting a little bit of the earthiness to it too, which is kind of neat. We get a little bit of a black pepper on the back. Yeah, the one thing that gets me on this is how sweet it is. And I keep coming back to that, but even, even after like the fourth or fifth sit, I'm getting super, super sweet. But then you get the mid palate where you get a little bit of spice and on the back, you start getting more of the oakiness and the leather and things like that. Just a tiny bit of peanuttiness. And, and it's, you know, and I tend to pick up the peanut pretty well. It's not a whole lot in there. So it's like you have a tiny bit of peanut that's kind of covered with some, some caramels and a little bit of syrup going on. So definitely enjoying it. Like I said, this, this is something that I'm, I'm glad I have my name on. Like I said, I can't, you know, it's like the whole world now gets to figure out something that I picked and I like. And some of you guys will really like it. And there'll be some people that say, yeah, it's just not my thing. But I hope not. <laughs> you know, you hope that. Everyone will kind of at least enjoy it. That that's the important thing. But I, I think that you most people enjoy it. And I what I would ask you to do is if you have some other Knob Creek at the house, try it against some other Knob Creek. See what you think of what notes that you like the best out of out of this one or maybe the other one if you happen to like it better. Because that's the fun part, especially when you have a single barrel. Because everything's just a little bit different. You know, this this kind of reminds me a little bit of a Booker's. You know, I know it's the same company. I, I don't know if the mash bills are the same. I know in Knob Creek it's a 75, 13, 12, 75% corn, 13 rye, 12%, uh, you know, malted barley. But I don't know if the Booker's are the same. Because when I drink this, it does remind me a lot of the Booker's. So I don't know if the mash bill's the same on them or not. But the sweetness that I like in some of my specific Booker's, I'm, I'm getting in this one. Man, I hope that you guys have had a great weekend this weekend. 
I hope that you've had some great time with family, with, with some of your friends. If you've had to work this weekend, man, I hope your work day's gone by fast. I hope you were successful and brought great energy to everything that you did this weekend. For those of you that are vigilant and always working for us on the weekends, you know, if you're our American military, first responders, doctors, nurses, you know, people that work off hours or off shifts that keep us going, our truck drivers, our teachers, our farmers, there's so many out there that just keep us going day to day. Thank you very much. But what most importantly is when you finally get it slowed down a little bit and when you finally get that time to relax with your family and your friends and for yourself. I hope you have a great time. I hope that you find something you like to do, whether it's have a great pour, grill up some, some steaks on the grill. You know, it's about the time in this area to start planting stuff. I was talking to my neighbor about, you know, I'm going to be doing my peppers and tomatoes. And he was asking me if I wanted some cucumbers and stuff. And I'm like, Sam, that'd be great. You know, so it's getting to be that time. We were talking about, we need to repair my fence and stuff over here. Cause you know, we, we I've got uh, scupper nogs that are on one side of my fence and they're starting to come up. So I'm gonna have to trellis them and train them and stuff. And he's talking about stuff. So I love, I love to plant stuff at this time of the year. There's nothing better to me than a nice, fresh tomato sandwich. Outstanding. But I, you know, I hope that when you have that time that it just slows down for you and you can have good conversations and have a good time and enjoy the time that you have to, to refresh, to get back out there, to do it again. Man, I almost forgot. We had a couple of winners, um, and those winners are going to be for this Crittenton's Cut Above. Now, this one right here, this is the Oloroso Sherry uh, Cast, and this was from the Mississippi Sippers. I got this at Spillway. We had two different winners. We had one winner from the Patreon. That was Prentice Griffith. Prentice, congratulations. Um, you'll get that apart with, when you get uh, your Knob Creek. We'll meet up locally for that. So excited about that. Uh, and then we also had a winner that came off of, off of the drawing for that video. And that was also Russ L Russ L Russell, AKA Russell, uh, <laughs> you won as well. So you also have a pour of that. Um, so I'm very excited for both of you guys. So I always love when people win some stuff, you know, and, and we also have a Tuesday drawing. If you happen to have had that video where the Tuesday six pack, there's going to be, uh, this was from the. 2,222 members. We reached that 2,222 members. So a six pack uh, is going out at the drawing for it's Tuesday. If you happen to be on that video, you say the right thing, you're eligible for that. We're going to have one two ounce pour of everything that I got at Spillway, four different Crittendons and two different K Lukes on there. So put that, uh, the magic phrase in that, in that comments there, excited for someone to win that six pack. It's Sunday again. It's time to give away something again. I mean, we've just been having a great time with this. Let's see what we're going to give away this week. Man, what do I want to give away this week? You know what? I think we'll do two ounce pours of the K Luke over here. This is a K Luke toasted. This was also one that I got in Spillway. As you can tell, I'm really liking this, but it's also given out a couple of pours on this as well. So, what we'll do is we're just going to put. In the description, keyword is Knob Creek, K-N-O-B-C-R-E-E-K, -E -E Knob Creek. But if you put that, you have an opportunity to win a two ounce pour of this K-Luke. This is batch two of their toasted. Patreons, you have that opportunity. So I'll do a Patreon only drawing for that. And then any members of the channel, if you put that Knob Creek in the comments next Sunday, I'll draw it up again to see who will win a two ounce pour off of that. I'm very, very excited about that. So next week is Knob Creek. We did have two winners this, this day for the Cut Above Crittendons, and that was the Oloroso Sherry. So Russell, Russ L in the comments, and then Prentice Griffith from the Patreon. So congratulations all. Most importantly all, it's Sunday. Cheers and God bless. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.